In this tutorial, we will see the basic principles of the construction planes. In the opening of a project, three default construction planes are already present. One for each main direction, right, face and top. Let us begin by creating a polyline. All new created objects appear under the node of the active container, which is the project node at this moment. By double clicking on a construction plane, we make it active. It displays on a grey background. A second double click deactivates it. It is also possible to activate a seaplane with its contextual menu. Set active seaplane. Let us draw a new polyline. We see that the polyline is aggregated under the project and that these points are included in the active construction plane. Let us activate the construction plane face by double clicking. We see that the perspective view construction plane is automatically updated. Let us draw a circle in the perspective view. As the polyline, the circle is aggregated under the project node. Its anchor points are aggregated in the active C plane, which is the C plane face. Let us deactivate the C plane face by its contextual menu and choose unset active C plane. If we wish to draw new objects in the top view without aggregation in the seaplane, it's possible to modify the view construction plane by selecting Set View Construction Plane in its contextual menu. If we draw new objects, they will be all aggregated under the active container because it has no active seaplane. Now we are going to modify the coordinates of a point. Select the node and then select Definition. Let us choose a coordinate of 5 in Y. A message informs you that the point has changed its owner because the point coordinates are not included anymore in the seaplane face. Now the point is aggregated under the project node. During drag and drop of a point, the same principle is present and the plugin informs you of the owner's change. We will now see the creation and modification of seaplanes. Let us create a construction plane by an elevation of the perspective view construction plane. The perspective view construction plane is modified and a new seaplane appears in the tree view. It is automatically activated. Now let us draw a box. The box appears under the project node and its anchor point in the active seaplane, the new seaplane. Let us create a seaplane on one of the box's faces. Let us also choose the construction method on plane surface. Select the box and choose a face index. An outline displays in Rhino Views to indicate the face is chosen. Also, Rhino Views construction planes are updated and a new seaplane node appears in the tree view. The seaplane is automatically activated. Now let us draw a cylinder. With the same principle, the cylinder is aggregated under the project node and its anchor point in the active seaplane. Let us modify the box's height. We will see that the seaplane is going to update, then the anchor point and then the cylinder. It's also possible to modify the face index of the construction plane. All objects follow this movement. Now we are going to create a seaplane based on a point on curve. Let us create first a polyline, then a point on curve. Let us create a seaplane by selecting the construction method point and XYZ. The construction plane of the perspective view is updated. Let us draw a polyline in the perspective view. Here all points are created in the active seaplane. Let us draw new polylines. Activate the ortho mode. During the creation of the polyline the plugin automatically creates points of type relative point with spatial markers. 
Here only the first point is aggregated in the c-plane. Other points are relative point and are not aggregated in the c-plane but in the active container. Only points of type point XYZ can be aggregated in a c-plane. By modifying the point on curve we are going to move the c-plane and all other objects. Point XYZ follows the c-plane because they are included in the c-plane. Relative points followed the movement because their reference point was modified. We can change the owner of an object by dragging and dropping in the tree view. Now, if we modify the point on curve and thus the construction plane, we will see that the two points which have changed of owner are not affected by the modification. Now make an undo. We will see that it is possible to move points X, Y and Z in a C-plane. To do this it's necessary that their coordinates be included in this C-plane. Let us try with another point. Here the plugin doesn't authorize the move because the point is not included in the target C-plane.